Alright. Yo, 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 it's Chris from New York and nigga not from the city though. It's Chris from Long Island and back with another video. Now, right now, I have zero fucking gameplay. I, this, this, I can I, I can honestly get easy, easily recorded gameplay from uh, you know transferring from Twitch to, to YouTube. But I just wanted to record just my, my reaction. Fuck the gameplay. I want you to look at my reaction playing a video game. When you play a video game, when you play a video game, you want to have fun, right? But look at look at how I fucking react playing this game. And I dead ass do not act like this with any other fucking game. Listen to what I say so you know what I'm getting mad at. And then also pay attention to how I'm acting playing fucking 2K. And if you act the same, next year you shouldn't buy this shit with me. We should boycott the fuck out of 2K until they take this algorithm bullshit out the fucking game. Real nigga shit. I'm in the first quarter. I barely took four shots yet. I'm in the fourth quarter and barely took four shots yet, bro. And look at how fucking heated I am. So let's just, let's just start this shit. Y'all gonna see my whole reaction. Like, it's ridiculous. Look at that. 90 close shot and just missing wide open fucking layups, bro. My, like Midas fucking well Wiseman's not gonna fucking shoot that bro You're not gonna shoot that Just He Yo 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 They're scoring with people oh, Stefan Stefan fucking Clay are like not even doing shit right now Barely but when they do shoot, of course they're not going to miss. They're getting fucking smothered and making jump shots. I'm not even talking about the Splash Brothers right now. Draymond scoring on my team. I'm, I play for the Spurs, by the way. Probably one of the most defensively sounded uh, teams in NBA history. Based on the system that Popovich implemented. So I'll be dead. I don't think there's anybody with low defensive ratings on my team right now in 2022. Because Pop is still there. That's just not going to be loud. When was Curry known for fucking finishing at the rim with five niggas in front of his face? When were the Spurs known for just leaving niggas open on the perimeter? Especially when it's Steph. Play this bullshit ass fucking game, man. Yeah, move. Yo, that's a. <laughs> Yo, if I would have done that animation, they would have said I was a foul. Now, I'm too slow to guard uh, um, Clay, but watch nobody switch. He's gonna get wide fucking open. Yeah, get that shit out of here. No, like, they. You should have. You should have just saw the pass that they allowed this nigga to get. It basically went through my put my players back. Either that, or he just completely ignored the fact that he could have cut off the backdoor pass. They don't go for steals. Your your AI, your AI on your team won't do a fucking thing. But watch these niggas. Watch watch the niggas on the other team shoot lights out. Play hard nosed defense. You won't you won't be able to fucking score. On my fucking mother, bro. I, I used to play for the Houston Rockets on my other player. Played like fucking shit on that team. Nobody could do shit. I versed them the other night. John Wall lighting niggas up. Getting dunking on niggas. Whole team shooting off the perimeter like it's nothing. It's an obvious fucking algorithm. Fix it, 2K. I'm not doing this shit no more. Every time I cut this game on, I get the high blood pressure, eyes popping out my fucking head, the veins popping out my fucking neck. Every fucking time I cut this shit on. And mind you, I play Back for Blood. I played UFC 4 for the. I, I've never played UFC before. I've never played Fight Night before. And you know, those are two games that if you're not good, even if you're playing the easiest AI, you can get put on your ass. With that being said, yes, I got knocked out by the computer a couple times. Was I mad? No. Chris, well, you, you lose in 2K, you get mad. But you lose in UFC and, and Fight Night, you don't get mad. What's the issue? Well, in UFC and Fight Night, you actually have to get your ass whooped to lose. It's not like you have your hands up like this 
and, and then the algorithm decides, you know what? Uh, the block isn't there. Unless you're versing Isaac Frost in the story mode. But it's like, no matter who you play in 2K, everybody's the 90s Bulls. Everybody's the, the 2016 fucking uh, Golden State Warriors. See, the, the, the curve makes no sense. When you play UFC, yes, you might get your ass whooped by, um, you know, DLC Mike Tyson. You might get your ass whooped by Conor McGregor. You might get your ass whooped by um, um, Nate Diaz. But you're not going to get your ass whooped by nobody that you could match up with. And I'm talking about in the beginning stages of the game when you're not, you know, upgrading your player super. Nigga, I'm 87... I'm 86, 87 fucking rated right now. And I'm shooting one for six with a 93 close shot. And I haven't took shit but close shots wide open. Spinning and spinning in the post so I can get open. You know this move right here, like when the defender's standing like right. Now let's say this ceiling, uh, y'all can't really see the ceiling fan, but like let's say the rim is like right here. You know that move where you posting up, you posting up from like right here, right? You posting up, and then you can spin. My defender's not going to be right here, bro. He's still going to be right here. But if I get that spin, I'm wide fucking, just put it up. I already, I'm a seven foot and got three foot long. F ah, look, 2K just made me fucking hurt myself. I, I'm fucking seven foot and got three foot, uh, three foot fucking arms, bro. Three and like, so there, there should be no issue with me finishing at the fucking rack when I'm a professional fucking basketball player. UFC 4 understands that even though you might not be the best, at the end of the day, you're still a professional fighter. So no, you won't get a jab to the note, a jab to your, a jab to the earlobe and fucking get knocked out. A jab. Like, that's not going... Now, leave it up to, to take two. Leave it up to 2K. Yo, let's hope and pray that 2K does not get a hold on UFC and other combat sport video games. Because you'll, you'll be, you know, just starting the game. And you might even get to 85 rated and still get put on your ass by the computer with, with, with a leg kick. Getting You might get a head injury from a leg kick. You know, I honestly, th this video went on for long enough. Yeah, look, I did, yo, look, hold up. I did not even play a minute. I did not even play a minute since starting this game. I've probably been talking to you niggas more than I've been playing the fucking game. Ain't that some shit? I do not, I repeat, I do not have fun playing 2K. Why do I have it? Cause it's like one of the one of the easiest games to start popping on with the streaming. Uh, I used to play it back in the day. I play with my boy. Well, when my boys want to play with me, cause I'm still sitting here career grinding. I don't really like playing the wreck with randoms. My friends work, I work, so we're barely ever online at the same time. And and hopefully, if I do load up into a into a um. A match made server like on the rack or in the old gym. Hopefully I don't get matched up with um Dribble McDribbleson on my fucking team so I can touch the ball some. My career is an easy way to play by yourself and have a good time. Ain't nobody having a good time with a 93 close shot going one for six in the fucking first quarter. With barely any defense on you. Who the fuck is Wiseman? Who's Wiseman? He just got on the fucking team. Who the fuck is Wiseman? To a, to a fantasy 2K player. He's a, yo, when you play 2K and you, and you make your player, you're trying to make Jordan look like a fucking baby, my nigga. You're supposed, you're supposed to be, um, you're supposed to be the best of the best in the league. It's a fake fucking game, man. It's a, it's fantasy. When I play Call of Duty, it, of course it's unrealistic to get shot 15 times in your fucking face and still walk away. Of course it's unrealistic. I didn't ask for realism with 2K22. Now with that being said, 
With that being said, I'm not saying that niggas should be able to make green lights from full court. The balancing is actually pretty decent this year. But for whatever reason, the most difficult part or the most difficult thing about 2K is the fucking AI. Who the, who, who the fucking thought that? In, in most video games I played, the most difficult part about the game was multiplayer. Because you're versing humans that have real thoughts. The AI don't have real thoughts. So so when I know the game's cheating to have my to have me get my ass whooped by a bunch of dumbasses basically cuz the AI is stupid. The AI is dumb as fuck. But the algorithm sets them up. So when I'm losing the game, bro, I I spent zero, zero, zero dimes on this fucking game. With that being said, had I spent real money, had I spent real fucking money to play this game to get my ass whooped in my career, I'd be asking for a fucking refund. I'd be asking for a refund. At some point, if you're getting your ass whooped on the park, you're just not good. Let's face it. But my career? Who the fuck is who the fuck loses the computer on my career, man? Explain me that one, dude. Right? That's like, bro. And mind you, this is the easiest difficulty. Nigga, yo, back in the day, bro. Like before 19, I feel like this started in 19. You had to play the pro comp the you had to play the pro computer, which is like it's one of the easier difficulties, but it's not like you're gonna be walking all over the computer. 2K19, they forced you to play on um on pro, but at the same time, you can still get, you can still get off on the computer. Don't get me wrong. I used to, I used to drop hundred point matches and shit while barely trying. Slumdog Trillionaire, shout out to him once again. He said in two K twenty one, he used to whoop the computer's ass. But now all of a sudden, you got niggas shooting fucking 38 percent, forty percent. Nigga, we, we, we used to shoot like 67%. This is not fun. If I wanted to play real fucking basketball, nigga, I'm from New York. I'll go find a fucking park, nigga. I'll go up the street and play some ball. I, nigga, there's a basketball court for every fucking basketball court out here, nigga. I, w I would go outside and play ball. But that, that's not the case. I, I just want to play some fantasy basketball. That's why I cut on 2K, right? It's going to catch up to you, 2K. It's going to catch up to you, 2K. You better be careful of the next developer that makes a game just as good as yours. Maybe even a little bit worse. I would Maybe just a pinch worse. But if they take that bullshit algorithm off, niggas will leave 2K. Cause y'all have y'all 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 are the masters of fixing shit and then just dumping a whole bunch of other bullshit on top of it. Fix it, fix it. Cause EA makes some very good sports games. I think that, and this might just be some conspiracy theory talk. FIFA, great game. UFC, great game. Fight Night, great game. What are the NHL, great game? Why is it NBA Live that they can't get together? NBA Live 19, uh, or was it, no, nah, not 19. I forgot which one it was. They, There was like a beta for it on the Xbox One. NBA Live, for whatever, one of those, uh, the, the one that came out to, to play the beta or whatever, that one was actually pretty fucking decent. But you know, you got a bunch of bird brain ass, look at my iPhone, uh, uh, I'm a Zodiac nigga dudes, hype beast ass niggas buying 2K every year because it's 2K. They didn't want to. They didn't want to give uh, uh, NBA Live a chance, which leads me to believe this: EA dominates the sports gaming industry. Is it really difficult to make a basketball game with the shit developers at Two K? I'm gonna guess it's not that hard to make a decent basketball game. 
With that being said, why is EA letting off the gas when it comes to basketball games? Somebody at 2K made a deal. See, this is why you don't get Chris Creates mad. Because now I'm on to your fucking ass. Who at EA are you paying for them not to take your fucking basketball industry? Let me know. Who at who at 2K headquarters and EA headquarters is buddy buddy? To keep EA from kicking 2K's ass at this basketball industry. That's some food. That's some food for thought. And that, that might be the title of the video. 2K is paying EA not to make basketball games. It's Chris from New York and nigga not from the city though. It's Chris from Long Island. I'm back with another video. I'm not letting up on 2K. I wasn't going to make more videos like these. I am not letting up on 2K. No fucking more. Shout out to Slumdog Trillionaire. Peace.